Hi, my name is Paul Carhart, and you're watching the Creative Underground, and you're probably, at some point perhaps, having maybe seen some of the previous episodes, or even watching this one, you might be thinking to yourself, who is this Paul Carhart guy anyway? Well, I am Paul Carhart, and I am the artist, an artist in downtown Long Beach uh, that does many different uh, mediums and I'm a musician in here right now that I'm looking at right now. This is in the basement of my home. This is our um, The band's recording studio. Well, actually it's our, our rehearsal studio, but it's set up for recording right now You can see we've got the drums mic'd. We actually today laid down drum tracks for six songs You can see um, we've got the drums are mic'd up. We're gonna do another six or so next weekend and that should probably cover all of the songs that we do. The band that I'm in, in front, is called Third World Sun, and you can hear it playing right now. Here's my songbook. Yes, even though we write our own material, it's a songbook. Um, here's my headphones and my mic. There's my Rickenbacker bass, 1972, I believe. Hollow Body, 4005. The pride of my world here. It's a very rare bass and um, I play it at every gig and I play it most of the time. I also have a fretless Ibanez over here in the case. You can't see it. Um, so this is the room where we record. All these chords come to one place. They come over here to where we typically have a digital device, a digital zoom device that we are, um, that actually Mike, our drummer, uses. He owns it. And we use that to record the drum tracks and some scratch tracks for vocals and for bass and for guitar. Some of them which may get used, some, most of which will probably be um, overdubbed with new tracks later. This is our headphone monitor setup. Um, this computer is where we pull all the tracks off onto. And the external drive goes upstairs to the studio, um, which is where I make this TV show and I also um, do my writing. So. Uh, so this is the room, this is the room um, for Third World Sun, again, Third World Sun. Uh, so that's one aspect of who I am as an artist, and uh, most of the lyrics and or um, music was written by me and or my late wife um, with uh, contributions from Scott Johnson, our former drummer David Rodriguez, uh, Mike Dremel, our current drummer, also um, has written some of our work as well. And we're going to, after we record the CD, we'll start writing new stuff. We play probably once a month around the downtown Long Beach scene, uh, sometimes at Bellflower. And you'll find out more. I'll, I'll, I'll announce stuff like that. The reason I'm showing you these projects is one, to kind of sort of give you a taste of who I am, and two, to also sort of familiarize yourself with some of the stuff I'm working on and as it progresses we'll we'll look in at it at some of the times on the show. Here's the stairs that lead down into the basement and next we're gonna go to my workshop and out here in the garage is the workshop and over here is my work table where you'll find a lot of my artwork laid out here. We have um, clearly um, this was a caricature of me from years ago. I have too much to show. Um, here's a sketchbook that has um, some characters that I've drawn in it. Here's an elf that I did many years ago. Um, here is another drawing that I did years ago, also sort of a fantasy type character. Um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, this is a character known um, as, at the time, was known as Library Man, that I, I named him. He basically was an idea of a friend of mine, Tyler's, and he is essentially a jock by day and a nerd superhero. Um, when he needs to save the day. Uh, there's some other characters of Here's Library Man in mid-flight doing some kind of odd pose. 
Um, and there are some other pictures of the library man here. He is changing um, out of his everyday clothing. There he is attempting to stop in front of a wall. Um, here he is in mid-flight. Um, here he is just in some kind of goofy um, pose. Preparing to fly, he, you know, squatting downward, um, and having to use a book to deflect gunshots, which would be something that he would really hate to do because he loves books. That's a good superhero for me to do. I think I'm going to revive him in some way um, as a writer. Um, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good story to tell here. Um, also did some other characters. Um, here are some that I did a while back. A dog, a cat, and a um, a kid that was for a story called Pet Regrets. Um, this was the called a love bug. Um, sort of a, has a Disney style to it. And let's see, anything else in here? Um, I did a lot of work as a designer, garment designer for Toshiba, and also for um, various other things that you would find in here. There's some ads that we did. Um, the other thing that is in this um, work area is the old Peeve comic strips that I used to do. And um, here's some right here. We have some of these things. There's I think 187 of them that I did over the years. And I'm going to revive these as well. Um, both the characters and the strips, and probably do new artwork and new strips at some point, um, because it's something that's on my heart to do. You know, I've got a ton of them here. There's, there's another one, and another one. Probably won't be able to read them, um, but there's a whole box full of them here. If you were to look at it, uh, some comic books too that I inked and wrote and inked and drew and everything. So that's pretty much what's out here in the workshop. This is more of my art studio area. Um, I'd like to get a more public one that people could come visit me at and then I could also work sort of in front of people and and even shoot intros to the show from. So, so there's my work desk and um, let's see what else we can find in this little journey here. Okay, so the show, The Creative Underground, actually um, comes from a radio show that I did in Colorado. And these are CDs of many of the shows that I've done. This, this case isn't all the way full. This case is, um, you can see, lots of different shows that I did. Much more off the cuff than what I do now. Um, was just sitting with artists, talking to them. If they were musicians, we usually had them play music or we played music from their CDs. Um, maybe someday I'll be able to revive that, but for now we're doing this show, uh, which is a monthly TV show. So, um, another aspect of who I am as an artist is I'm a writer, and here are some of my books. Um, you'll see Chance for the Future, Hope for the Past, or Hope for Tomorrow, Faith in the Past, and... Um, those are part of a sci-fi series. And then here we have One of the Girls, which is a young adult superhero novel. We have also A Stranger on Bay Street, which features an angel. Um, I'm currently writing a sequel to this one. It's called A Stranger at the Gallows. I'll update with that later as, as it progresses. I also have a nonfiction book called Zooming Through Life, which I typically feature some element from for every TV show, every episode of this show. Um, it's a book of tips, things I learned traveling, stuff like that, that can be applied to your everyday life. Over here we have, this is my workbook that I usually, whatever work in progress I'm working on. You'll see here is a manuscript for um, Planetfall. And it's basically three books. It's a very thick manuscript. If you look here, it's, it's 
quite thick. Um, it's actually three books. It's a trilogy, and it's but it's going to be released as one piece. So um, you'll see here. There's some edits, little tiny, little tiny edits, because it's basically almost completely and utterly done at this point. This should be out early in 2015, um, and. It's nearly done being edited. So this is the next book, uh, Planetfall. The next book I'll have out. Um, and then it'll be Stranger on Bay, uh, Bay Street. This one's the sequel, Stranger at the Gallows, which is a Western theme featuring this angel. And then I think Faith Restored, you'll see here, I've, I've actually started that as well. That is the fourth book in this series that I mentioned before. So that's my novels and my nonfiction writing. I'm also working on a children's book. This is the script for it. It basically rhymes every two lines. Um, and the idea would be that I would also illustrate it. So here are some of the character designs. Just really rough sketches. Uh, it's called The Nocturnal Adventures of Melody Midnight. And this would be Melody Midnight right here. And she's sort of somewhat based upon my daughter Melody, who you see on the show. Um, Melody used to never want to go to sleep. So we typically would we'd have the baby monitor on, we'd listen to her, she'd be singing her, to her, so whatever she could do to keep herself awake. And so we came up with the idea of writing this, my wife and my late wife and I. Um, now that she's passed away, I thought I'd go ahead and do it. This is a dragon from the story. Um, there is a bandit with the face of a toad in the story, and this is him. And... There's a stuffed animal bear that she takes with her named Shavy Bear. And there's an old moonshiner in the story. His name is Mr. Semple. And there's a lanky monkey in the story as well who has a big old bunch of bananas that he takes with him and makes use of. And so these are some of the character sketches for that. I need to do character studies for them, but they're really ready to go. And this thing is, other than the last few couple pages, I think is pretty much done. So um, so this will be the children's book. It'll be out, I'll be working on it out in the studio where, where we were at in the workshop. Um, and I think I've got one more place to take you guys. Um, so let's, uh, let's move upstairs to the uh, music studio slash editing bay slash uh, writing area where I write my novels, uh, my office. The office. We're going to go into my. Here's where the writing takes place, and um, this is where right now it's it's set up to have the um, the uh, this is the editing bay for the music for Third World Sun CD. Um, you can see these are the, the song tracks. It's just very basic right now. This is the song that was playing earlier called Jump Gig. Um, there's a mixer here, right over here. There is um, some effects for the guitar track. And um, that's basically the way we make record CDs. And um, there's and then there's another, I, I do my writing in here. And there's something else that I do in here, and that is you know, this little TV show right here, um, which we're talking about right now. And you can script through here, and you can see this was the previous episode. And I'm about to sit down and edit this one. So, um, that's basically where we're at. And all the different kinds of things that I do besides my day job, which is in advertising. Um, so I'm going to end this on a lamp that I built with my late dad um, in my wood shop. Uh, I suppose that's somewhat creative. And, uh, you know, ask that question again. Who is this Paul Carhart guy anyway? Um, you know, I'm not important. I'm, I'm an artist. I'm, I'm a dad. I, I, surely I'm important to my daughter and my friends and my family, but I'm not really important as an artist. But artists as a group, I believe, are important. And that's why we have the show here that we use to highlight, um, you know, artists in the community and hopefully revisit them as they progress and check out their work and see what they're doing and see what's going on and what's interesting. So, um, you know, now that we've looked at the contours of this lamp and bored the heck out of you, let's go see what's going on. We're going to have an aquatic-themed, ocean-themed episode today, 
and let's go see um, what's going on, like usual. What's going on? Is that sandwich felt? Yeah, it is, actually. Well, it is now. Hey! Hi, today I am at the Aquarium of the Pacific, and I'm going to show you some of my favorite animals. Hi, today we are visiting the penguins, the local and um, you can check how cool they are. Most, li most likely my favorite animal is in the aquarium is the sea otter. <laughs> Hi, in my book, Zooming Through Life, I talk about different things that you can do to, um, tips that, that you can do to, to make your life a little easier. Today I'm going to give you one it's about money and I've got some money here and if you've got it folded in a certain way where you've got the 20 on top it looks like you've got a stack full of 20s but if you were to take your money and fold it differently and put the smaller bills on the top Now it looks like a stack of ones and it's a lot less enticing for thieves. So whenever you go out, and you're especially when you're out in downtown Long Beach, fold your money with the ones on top and you'll be less likely to be robbed.
Is this how felt? Well, why, yes it is. Well, it is now. Thanks for watching our show. Come back and check us out next time on the Creative Underground.